to beautify. I'm actually so excited for today though, but I need to, you know, you just need to feel cute. Like, I need to feel cute. slightly behind my um, imaginary schedule so I need to hurry the fuck up I think I'm just gonna do like a half up half down slicked because my hair is a little bit greasy today does that look okay hopefully hopefully right let's get changed so I'm thinking chill jeans oversized jumper bear with these And then this wee number. Is it given the vibes that I want? With these? Am I giving like throwback college kid? Let us get ready to rock and roll. We desperately, desperately need to get coffee. I know I'm going for food and coffee, but it's like an hour and 40 minute drive up here. So I need to get one to go. Okay, this is the fit. Am I giving relaxed? Chill vibes, hopefully, hopefully. Now I'm just gonna pack a bag. Soup quickly. Go with the green bikini, standard procedure for me. I had contemplated buying my Crocs, but I think that's a step too far. So, we'll bring these. Okay, coffee has been acquired. We are buzzing. Okay, so the plan basically today is, I was feeling a bit funky during the week and when I say funky, I just mean like, I, I was feeling burned out, but I wasn't sure why I was feeling burnt out but I do know why I was feeling burnt out it's like one of them things where and I remember listening to Emma Timberland's podcast one day and she was like like sometimes you'll sit and you'll do nothing but then you'll feel guilty because you know that you've stuff that you can be doing so you never actually give yourself time to rest so even though you're lying resting you're not actually resting you're just stressing yourself even more so that's kind of what I was doing I was really I wasn't really resting now it was potentially a little bit hormonal as well you know that time of the month however we're feeling good today. I'm buzzing and I've been looking forward to this all week. So I have, I used to always during the COVID or during the COVID, do you hear me? During the pandemic, I would have went to like a takeaway from this cafe in Newcastle called Railway Street. Loved it. So tasty. And then I would go to Tullymore Forest Park. This is all in Newcastle in Northern Ireland and loved it so much. And then I'd never been to the Sleep Donner before and I was like, maybe I'll get a, maybe I'll get a massage. So I emailed the Sleep Donner Spa and I was like, by any chance do you have availability on Saturday and she was like yeah 4 p.m Saturday and I was like oh my god can you book me in for a massage and she was like yeah perfect so I'm going up now I've got my coffee and I'm driving up to basically have like a mental health reset and like just spend time with myself that's kind of the key thing is to spend time with myself and like I'm not 
I'm not putting any pressure on myself to like read any books or listen to any podcasts or anything like that because I feel like you can get so overworked with self-improvement stuff like even when you are feeling down you're like I should be doing more self-improvement when like no I especially too I find that like when I'm listening to podcasts and I'm listening to other stuff I actually be like I fucking heard this before blah 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 and I'm like I feel like I'm hearing the same stuff on repeat but have I actually put it in practice mm, probably not so that's what we're doing today we're putting shit into practice so Flat white, car, let's fucking go, okay? The journey commences. Also, I have an unhealthy attachment to my vehicle. I, l I love her, like I actually love her. But anyway, let's go. Right? Yes, thank you very much. I spilled a wee bit on the way Sorry. It's fine, it's perfect, thank you. Lunch acquired. It was so tasty and all the girls were so lovely. So I'm buzzing. And you know what? I hadn't planned on doing any work, but I ended up getting loads of work done as well. So slay. Okay, so now I literally have to drive two minutes over there to go to sleep Donard. I'm a wee bit nervous because it looks massive and I just I've never been to a spa before by myself. Like that's new. I've been to a cafe before by myself, but I've never been to a spa before by myself. So LMFAO. So fast forward, we're home now. So it was actually wonderful, you know, it was such a nice time and I was like, I had the whole jacuzzi to myself and I was driving down the road, it took me like an hour and 40 minutes or whatever to get home and I was driving down and I was like, like overwhelmed with this feeling of like peace. I don't know if that makes sense, but I just, it was so lovely and I was like, I need to do this more often because it was just exactly what I wanted. It was so nice and wonderful. Now what we have to do is I need to transform and shift ship. Shape shift because I'm going for drinks tonight and I like never really go for drinks like I rarely drink in general but you know it's coming to Christmas season so we've got some drinky drinks happening tonight although I'm not pre I'm not praying I've got the loot so yeah I would let you get ready with me however I kind of want to watch the crown because this could be a process so I'll check back in once, once I'm ready and I'll fill you in more later on how I feel after my little self-care day. Okay, so I'm gonna go sort this. What are your words of wisdom for the people? Uh, don't let any cunt screw you over. Screw them over first. Live your best life. <laughs> this is a PG version. Wait, this is actually going on a plus. 80 plus. <laughs> hot minute and it's now several days later however I didn't really discuss very much to do with my mental health day and I have to say I'm feeling much better now I do think a lot of it was to do with hormones and stuff like classic female things however um, I, I was still just feeling a little bit burned out and to be honest if you're feeling kind of slightly burned out as well key thing spend more time with yourself and I actually seen them graphs the other day too about how the time that you spend with like your co-workers your family your partner, all them graphs across your lifeline. And the only one that increases is the time spent alone. And so one of the key things in life in general is being able to find solitude in yourself. And I remember listening to Jay Shetty one time talking about how there's a difference in solitude and loneliness. So loneliness is when you're by yourself, but you're actively aware that there's no one with you. You're feeling lonely. You, you know, it's more a depressive state rather than solitude is being alone with yourself in peace and enjoying your own company. And so that is just everything. Like imagine as well, like in, in future, you want to be able to take yourself to spa and no one else can go. Like it's such a small thing, but it makes such a difference in the long term. But anyway, so today 
I got nine hours sleep last night too. Oh my God, that never happens. Nine hours sleep? Who is she? She's renewed, she's fresh, she's ready for action. But today I thought we were coming into train this morning, um, but a CrossFit, and I thought I was gonna be able to do the class ward, and I, in fact, I'm not able to, because I'm working this evening, and I've got my own calls and stuff, and I'm not gonna be able to make class, so, and I wanted to get like all the weightlifting and everything done, so I'm not able to do that. So instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it now, in the morning, and do my weightlifting and stuff, and I'm just gonna not be able to do the ward. But guess what? Guess who signed up for half marathon? Am I a motherfucking psychopath? Yes, yes I am, because the furthest I've ever run is 5K. Now, I know that I played county football for a long time, but that is not the same. They are very different. But this is a big challenge. So it's in March of 2023, so it's just after the open as well. So hybrid athlete, LOL, fuck, me, fuck my life. But anyway, so I might actually go for 5K this evening after my runs are done. We'll see, we'll see. Don't hold me to that, but anyway, let's get stuck in the training and I will take you with me. Training complete. We'll discuss after. The first thing we need to do is we need to get a cup of coffee. So let's get some coffee. Coffee acquired. I feel like I keep talking to you when I'm in the car, but I think it's the best place for me to talk because if I'm at home, my mum can be there. And then, you know, when you don't want to record when you're at home because you feel like you can't talk normally. And then if I'm in somewhere else, I just feel like someone might potentially walk in or something. So the car is a safe space. It's a safe space. But anyway, training did not go as I had hoped it would. And like, I actually just felt so weak. Like I felt weak as water, but it is technically my period week, although it's been acting the ball bag. But because I took them like Primula tabs because me and Owen went on holidays, like, in the start of September and they fucked me up. I don't know if anyone else has taken them before, but they've fucked me up so bad. And um what do call it? So then it's been acting the balls, but I have been so weak this week. Like I couldn't even hit my percentages today. As you can see, my previous snatch is falling out with myself. But I know, you know, it's fine. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna go eat really tasty food. Plus, I didn't even have breakfast this morning. I literally had half a bagel with jam on it. So that's all I've had today to sustain me. And it's currently quarter past one. Oh my God, no, that's not the time. Couldn't be. Hold on. Okay, it's two o'clock. There you go, it's two o'clock. So need to go and eat now, but anyway. I hope we're all feeling good. I'm actually feeling great today. Although, again, with like the whole period thing, I never really get spots, but see where my chin as well? Disastrous, disastrous. But my eating over the weekend as well was quite terrible. I kind of just took the piss, but I'm not overly concerned about it. Like normally I would track my calories and stuff just to kind of make sure I'm hitting my protein and that I'm not OTT on the calories because I am trying to be in a slight deficit at the minute. But nothing intense, if you know what I mean, because if it was too low, I wouldn't be able to train or like, do the high intensity stuff that I want to do and um, so we've been trying to stay in a slight deficit however I know I haven't been in a deficit the last two weeks because I really took the piss at the weekends but the period coupled with the spots on my skin I'm being quite irritable at the moment so that is why I'm allowing myself maintenance this week just to not have the pressure okay no pressure now what we're gonna do we're gonna go home and we're gonna make some food let's go we are back home and I have parcels so I've seen this on a girl's TikTok on, um, she's from Belfast, her name's Emma, and I thought, and my, I'm obsessed with green, as you can see, obsessed. Like, I get green French on my nails, and I have this, oh, that's not focusing. Green French tip. I have a green ring, everything. Green phone case, green car keys. It's a joke, it's a joke, can't stop. 
Okay, sorry, we're back. I had to go get the charger there. Anyway, right, let's open this together and see what's inside. I actually have, I brought this down as well. I got this yesterday. Haven't tried anything on yet, but let's see. Anyway, so it's very glitzy and it's not really like, I usually just wear um, black, so we'll see. I ordered everything in like similar colors. Let's see. So I ordered the 10 and the 12 because normally I'm a 10 on bottoms just because, you know, booty. And then my mum alters everything for me then because she's a seamstress so it works out really well. But anyway, here we go. Oh. oh. Get you through there. Oh, it's very cute. Oh. My God. Wise. Oh, do you know what? I think the 10 might be okay because it seems quite long actually. I didn't think it would be that long. Oh, I'm obsessed. Right, and the top that the model was wearing because I couldn't figure out what top to put with it because I don't want to put something that has a pattern on, on top as well. Now it's for like a Christmas outing obviously. Um, but this was like a little crop top and I don't know if this is like too little for me because you know, if you're sitting in dinner and stuff, I don't want no role situation going on, but then this was the top she was wearing and Emma was wearing this top as well, but then the model was wearing this top on ASOS as well. So anyway, here we are. Oh, it's cute, isn't it? These heels, and I, I just typed in silver heels and I didn't pay attention to what heels Emma was wearing. And then I went back and the heels that I had added to my basket were the same heels that she was wearing. So I thought it's meant to be. Let's see, oh these look, these are very, like I never wear silver. So this is very out there for me. Oh, um, Jesus. These are on real. I'm gonna feel like Cinderella. I don't know, I need to put this on at some point. I will put it on for you, okay? But just not right now. Then, cause I'm starving and I need to eat first. Put that back on there. Okay, then I got this top as well, which looked extra cute. However, I don't understand how it works because you can't wear a bra with it, but you need to cover your nip -nats. Also green, obviously. Isn't she gorge? But I thought with this one, you could wear like white or black. Do you know, cause like I can't as much as I love it. Look how see-through it is. Do you know what I mean? I'm gonna to have to wear like nipple covers because I can't be putting this on and walking out in public, do you know what I mean? But I just, in terms of like what to wear with it, I wasn't sure if I was going for like a black mini skirt. So I ordered this black mini skirt off Bershka and isn't here yet, when it comes, I will show you. Um, and then I was just gonna go for like a green sparkly heel as well. Cause you know, green for life. But yeah, so we'll, we'll see. We'll have to assess the situation and then I got another thing, obviously, because I have a shopping addiction. But anyway, here we go. Sorry if I fuel your shopping addiction. Okay, last thing I got. I got a Garmin. Heavily, heavily inspired by Kylie Ross. I love her. If you watch her YouTubes, she's amazing. But yeah, so I got, when I was researching, because I have an Apple Watch, right? And I honestly, I didn't really wear it. Like I, and so I tried a whip, tried the whip, wore it for three days. And due to my anxious brain, I thought, this is not for me, because why? I'd wake up in the morning and it would be in the red zone, right? And I knew it was gonna be in the red zone because I knew I wasn't getting enough sleep because my sleep is not the best in the world and like I'd be lucky if I was getting six hours a night. Do you know what I'm saying? But I night. So then I thought, I'll send it back to Whoop and send it back. You chat about a handling, trying to get that thing canceled. Oh my fucking God, they do not make it easy, but I got it done eventually, thank God. And so they went back to the Apple Watch after that because I thought I still want to track, but I never, like I wasn't really tracking my steps or anything back. So I thought, sure, I'm training every day. What do I need to care about it for? And then in work, you aren't, because I work in the hospital as well, you have to be bare below the elbow, but I'm only in there three days a week. So like the other four days and like even in the evening time, I can put the watch back on again, but I just wasn't doing that. So anyway, then when I signed up for a half marathon the other day, I thought, I'm a runner now, I have to change my identity, therefore I need a Garmin, because runners wear garments, obviously. So here we are, and then I sat all day, and actually, 
when I was thinking about it then, a girl in the gym was wearing the Garmin venue and it was the food medic had had this ages ago. I remember she put it up, but she's a whoopee girl now because she's like, she works with them. But before she had got the Garmin venue, I thought, oh my God, that's so fucking pretty. I love it. I don't know. I've never had like a circle watch face before. I'd always just had the Apple watch one and I bought it during the pandemic years ago, whenever that was, two or three years ago. And anyway, so then the venue came back in my brain again and could I stop thinking about it? Couldn't stop thinking about it for days and days and days and started going on TikTok being like best Garmin to get. Garmin venue versus Garmin 2 venue, Garmin 2S versus Garmin 2, blah, blah, blah. I was just on the research hunt. So then I found out that the Garmin venue 2S was the smaller one and I would have quite a small wee wrist anyway. And I know Katie Ross has the two, but it just, I don't want a chunky one. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't need chunky, especially if I'm training with it and we're, we're doing gymnastic stuff and your grips are on your wrist. I thought, no, I don't want chunky. So I went with the venue 2S, right? Typed it into Google, that was grand, searching it up and it was coming up like £279 or whatever it was. And I thought, hmm, is it worth it? I don't know. And then when I went on, I thought, hmm, will I have a student discount? Because I did my master's last year, so I still have my student discount available, thank God. Typed in Garmin. It said 40% off certain brands. And I thought, I wonder if the venue's in this. So clicked it anyway. And then scrolled down, seen venue, but didn't see the venue too. And I thought, oh fuck, they're not taking it off the venue 2S. But I wasn't any, I wasn't overly bothered because there doesn't seem to be any like much difference between the venue and the venue two. Because but the only thing would be is that that venue was this it was the 45 mil and I wanted the 40 mil, which was a smaller version. But anyway, I thought fuck it, I'll type it in here and see. So I typed in the venue 2S and it came up and I thought, oh my fucking God. And tapped it in and it was on sale at 279 because it was normally 299 or 310 or something like that. And I thought, oh, sure, it's already on sale. It, they'll probably not take much more off it. Clicked it, 209. And I thought, bargain, send it my way. I will take that. Sold. But again, I have a shopping addiction, so there's no point listening to me. So yeah, here we are. Long story short, I got it and it came very quickly. And now I'm wearing it. So I went for the gold one. It comes in rose gold and I think black as well. But I thought the girl in the gym had this one. And I think Kelly Ross has this one as well. So obviously I was influenced. And I went with the gold one instead of the rose gold because I wear gold jewelry all the time. And like my ring would be gold, blah, blah, blah. So that's why I went with the gold one. Now I've only had two days, so I can't, I can't concur anything. But this was the face that I went with, the cute face. This is the little clock design I've got. And she's cute, like, never mind my ugly tan, but she's nice, like, on the wrist, like, not too chunky, I think. I love her. So, it doesn't have a CrossFit, like, on the Apple Watch, if I'm recording CrossFit training, I will click. Which one would I have clicked again? Can't remember, but it didn't have a CrossFit one specifically, but it had something that was related to CrossFit. But then on this, could I figure out how to fucking even start an activity on it? But I got it sorted anyway, so then I changed it to... Depending on what we're doing, I'll either click high intensity interval training or I'll click because technically I just wanted to record, like I'm not recording sets or reps or anything, I'm just recording the whole way through training. So I might just then I asked the girl in the gym last night which one she uses and she says she just uses cardio, so I might just use that from now on. It makes it not doesn't really make any difference. But then today, because remember I said real I couldn't I realised I can't do the actual class today because I have an induction tonight. I've got my calls from quarter past four till six. Of that induction seven i'm not actually gonna be able to do class today that's why i did all my training before but what i might do when i come home is go for my first run kick kick start things off for half marathon training because i'm going running on sunday with two girls and um, we're going for 5k slowly you know start start slow we're not breaking any records and like honestly my 5k time like a good 5k time for me is like 27 minutes so i don't want any hate thank you very much but it's a mental game it's a mental game so I'm going to start today and I think instead of setting a set distance, what I'm going to do is just set a time. I might just run for 20 minutes. That's what I'll do. And we'll see. We'll see. I might take you along. I might not. If I'm embarrassed, I might delete it and not put it in. But we'll find out. We'll find out later. So for now, let's make food. I say make. I am just going to have a ready meal because I don't really have time to make anything right now. But also I can't be bothered. So I get these really tasty meals from Tasty Girl Club. They're the best. So I'm going to pop one in the microwave. The microwave. <laughs> Might go for. You know what? I've changed my mind. We're making a chicken and cheese sweet chili bagel. That's what we're doing. No slack and peel. Plus, this has like 40 grams of protein in it. I need it because on my push presses today, 
I need to build these shoulders. Right? I need a bit of mayo. And that's it. The bagel's over here. Come on. Bagel required. Toaster also required. Where is it? I say toaster. It's, it's actually the grill. The little George Foreman. Get that going. This is so tasty. And you know what? I actually made this. And not that it's anything groundbreaking, but I just think people really overcomplicate their nutrition, especially when it comes to like hitting macros, hitting protein. They think it needs to be, especially on Instagram, there's an awful lot of like fancy meals, blah, blah, blah. With this, this, like it doesn't, like you don't need to make it harder for yourself than it already is. Not that it's hard, but we make it hard. Delicious. I went upstairs to talk to mum and I left the bagel in slightly too long so it's a little bit sizzled but here it adds character. It's fine. I'm watching season five of The Crown. I don't know if anyone else watches it but oh my god it is great but some of it's very like like I wonder you know the conversations that they have inside the buildings where they're talking about stuff I'm like how do they know what's appropriate to say because obviously like it's about the royal family and I'm like how do they know how far to go with things and like even like Diana flirting with the doctor and stuff I'm like how do you know what's like not crossing a the line there does that make sense I don't know anyway off we go time to watch good evening check-ins complete that was so fun and so many people finished up tonight so when we were doing them, it was like saying goodbye. So my heart was breaking, but they all smashed it. Amazing. So the plan now for the rest of the evening is I have an induction at 7 p.m. So I need to go over. It's just five past six now. So I might make a cup of tea, another one, a slay, another cup of tea, a snack. I might have a protein bar. I honestly don't really have protein bars that often because I'm having a clear way isolate. Shout out my protein code, Kiehl's. But um, I really don't have them because I'm trying to be in a deficit at the minute. Protein bar. It's just not it because I can have a bigger meal rather than waste 230 calories on protein bar. However, I did not get my ass out of bed until about half nine today and I trained. I was like over at the gym for half ten so I had half a bagel and some jam and a coffee for breakfast which was about, we're talking like 200 calories. So it meant that I have extra calories to spare because I didn't actually have an actual breakfast. So, And I have my dinner already logged and I still have 500 calories left so I'm going to have a protein bar. Don't hate me. I love it. I'm excited. My favourite ones, um, I don't actually, do you know what? Because I don't get them that often, I don't have any from my protein, which is kind of sad. So I might just buy one in the shop and see which one I'll go for. I used to get the grenade salted caramel ones and it was heated in the microwave for 30 seconds. Stop it. Okay, I'm going to do that. I think I have some of them. I'll go and do that. Um, but yeah, so let's go do that. Let's get a little Torito. I find a whole box that I have. It's like the shop here. Wait till you see this melted for 30 seconds. Change your life. Change your life. <gasps> Look at it. Stunning. We have arrived at our eating station. I've been really enjoying this whole YouTube thing, you know. Oh my fucking god. It's like dessert. Oh, it's so good. I'm thinking, because of time, my, my snatching hasn't been sensational recently because I've been neglecting my mobility. So I'm thinking if I go as soon as I eat this, we might do some stretching and I'll take you along. We'll do some mobility before the induction tonight and then potentially going for my 20 minute run. So I've decided I'm not doing a 5k or a 3k. I'm going to set my, my Garmin for 20 minutes. Hear me, my Garmin, because I'm a runner now for 20 minutes. And I'm just going to run for 20 minutes. So as soon as I hit 10 minutes, I'm going to turn around and come back from wherever I am. And that's going to be the start of my running career. 
We'll see how it goes. Before we go, I was just scrolling on TikTok there, and one of the girls, now, I'm, a, I'm on spiritual talk. I don't know about anyone else, but I'm a big, like, Joe Dispenza geek, like, love the universe energies, right? But the problem is, see, about maybe a year and a half ago, I was like, abundance, 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 right? But very, very quickly, if you don't keep working on it, the world gets you back, and it gets you back into that, oh, there's not enough of this, like, the very much lack mindset, right? And so like, this girl and thing was like, just test it. Just test it and see. And show up. I'm going to fucking test it. Let's go. There's a lot of things I've been thinking about, like just with my career and everything recently that I've been kind of thinking about. And like, you know, when there's stuff that you know that you want to go for and do, but like you're very scared because of like stability and everything like that. We need to fucking test this shit. Like we need to go for it. We need to stop. And like, I'd be the first person if one of my friends came to me, I'd be like, quit the bullshit, let's go, like, I'm here to support you, whatever, whatever, but it is, it is just taking that first leap, that is quite scary, contemplating life, really, do you know what I mean, but yeah, even in terms of, like, like, money and everything, and, like, just things in your life, like, small things, start small, like, a cup of coffee, that was what they always say in all the books and all the podcasts, it's like, start small with your test, and, like, if it's a parking space, if it's a free cup of coffee, if it's a compliment that day, like, manifest that shit, I actually, wait till you see my car keys, wait till you see, can you see? It says manifest that shit. I love. And then on this here, I have you make, I know it's back to front, but it says you make the world a better place because I love having that because I just turn around to people and I'm like, like, hey Emma. And then she reads it and she's like, oh, and like it puts a smile on someone's face. It's something really small, but I just think it's, it's nice. But anyway, yes, manifest that shit because I say that all the time and I thought, I'm going to go on Etsy and I'm going to see if there is a keychain for that because I want that all the time. And there was. Happy days meant to be. Etsy's awesome. I fucking love Etsy. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm, I'm going to end up late and not be able to do any mobility. So let's go to the gym. Come on. Stop waiting around. Update. I'm ready to run. I've even got a headband on. Now, we're not setting any records tonight. I simply just want to run for 20 minutes. I don't care how far I get. I'm just running for 20 minutes. We're adopting an Atomic Habits vibe here, which is just show up, okay? We're building the habit. B R B in 20 minutes. A second for you. Oh my fucking God, it's so much colder than I thought. I haven't even taken off yet. I'll warm up. Maybe by 10 minutes I'll be warm, okay? Bye. What's the crack? Oh wait, we're, hold on, we're too low. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Guys, this is Patricia. She is my mother. For my sins. <laughs> so, guess what? What? I ran for 40 minutes tonight. Stop it. 40 minutes. I, I know. did not. 40 minutes. And I, so I said, I'm going to run for 20 minutes. I put the watch on, because, you know, Garmin, because I'm a Garmin girly now. I put the watch on and I said, I'm going to run for 20 minutes. And I thought, you don't know where to look. Mom, I think she's a superstar. I know I am. I thought I'll run for 20 minutes, but then because this thing like falls down, right? It goes mm -hmm. like this. I thought I can't actually pee back to look. And I was jogging and I thought nice and slow, slow and steady. And I felt great. Got back to the car. I didn't even know how long I'd been running for, but I thought I'm going to keep going. Went up there and then went up the hill and I thought this was a mistake because I was going up the hill and I thought, holy fuck, I fucked it. And got my breath back so I was grand and then made back to the car and I was like, I'm so... Then when I got out, it seen it was almost four mile. 3.8 mile. It was, like, no records were broke. It was a 10 minute, it was 10 minute mile. Like, it was hang, so, hang on here. I you're know. only out starting your training. I know. So I'm chuffed. I'm totally chuffed. But Congratulations, Kelly. Thank you, Mother. That's the check. Will be five tomorrow? No, no. Once a week. Well, twice a week. I'm going around twice When's a week. When's the marathon? It's... Mini marathon? It's in fe March. So I've loads of time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's enough, you, you're dismissed. Anyway, so that's the running career started. I'm absolutely chuffed with myself, really buzzing. And I've got my, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be running these, but I've got my Nike Tempos. I'm not 100% sure. Of course I bought these and bought them back when everyone did the other Oma Half Marathon because that's when I first said, I'm gonna become a runner. But I have them now. And something I find too when I run is my calves get really, really sore. But maybe that's just because I don't run enough. But I anyway, we'll soon find out. I'm, I'm potentially might buy hawkers. I don't know if anyone knows of any good hawkers. Please let me know. But then I got my little running headband and I've got my garment. I've got the, all the gear. 
absolutely no idea. But anyway, that's the plan. I'm so chuffed. So I'm gonna go eat now. But thanks for spending a few days with me. This has been wonderful and welcome to the vlog. Excited to make more. If you want, you can like and subscribe. LOL, well, it sounds weird saying that, but anyway. And then if you want to, my Instagram as well, or my TikTok, whichever. I'm all over the place. So you'll probably be sick looking at me, but it's totally fine. That's what we want. Passion content. So yeah, see you later. Bye.